Uh, I'm Ted Gatz, Theodore Gatz, and uh, born and raised in Seattle, 1926. Born and raised there and went all the way through high school and then joined the service because the war was on, 1944. I ended up uh, aboard ship in the Pacific. I went joined the Navy. I had a not a real exciting time in the service, but uh, we we were aboard a, a, a freighter, uh, AK-178, and we didn't see any action to speak of. But we were out there all by ourselves all the time, never in a in a uh, group. We were fortunate. Very fortunate. I mean, we had we had some armament and some guns to fight off uh, airplanes, maybe a submarine, but a submarine. We were, we were sitting ducks, and all over the Pacific, we went across the, to the island of Manus. Our first stop ended up in the all over Pacific in the Philippines. Every every port in the Philippines, it seemed like, and then went down into New Guinea and then ended up uh, going to Australia in November of 1945. And the war was just over at that time. We were uh, a Christmas ship going up to Borneo and we took supplies and goodies and everything up to the Australian troops in Borneo. We had quite a write up in the, in the Australian papers and Sydney papers and so on, because we had all uh, the goodies for the Aussie troops. We, you know, as far as action, we didn't see any, of course, but we couldn't have put it up much of a fight anyway, but I don't think they wanted to waste a torpedo on us. I really don't, you know, they're a long ways from home. The Aussie troops were, of course, very gracious to us. We ended up uh, some great parties. <laughs> <laughs> then we, we decommissioned, the war was over, and we decommissioned in the Philippines. By decommissioning, I mean we stripped the ship of all the uh, Title B equipment, which was all, because I was storekeeper, I had to keep track of everything. And uh, all the Title B equipment was all the office equipment, all the uh, machines, machinery, which wasn't very much in those days. We did have calculators, that was about it. Just set everything on the beach, and that's as far as it ever got, I'm sure. Uh, I climbed aboard a, a big AK transport ship that was carrying troops back home, ended up back in Elliott Bay in Seattle. We get back there and we have a case of typhoid aboard and so we couldn't get off the ship. And I sat for two weeks out in the Elliott Bay and looked at Seattle. I couldn't get off. And finally we, we did get off. Then they put me aboard a ship, an LST up in Everett and I went down to San Francisco uh, with that and I helped commission a ship. The storekeeper used to get his fingers in everything. Got down to San Francisco, then then they discharged me. I, they couldn't do it in Bremerton. They had to do it down in San Francisco. Well, I went to college for a couple years and that wasn't for me. And so I ended up in photography school and that was that was my niche. We had a great school there in Seattle. Northwest Institute had a Chinese fellow uh, who was a fantastic teacher and photographer. Bought a studio, got a government loan, $4,000, a GI loan, bought a studio, 1949, November 49. Had quite a business, really. I mean, I was uh, one of the leading photographers, I guess, in the Seattle area there. We did lots of high school work. Annuals, I had at times, I had eight high schools, seven high schools, and 2,800 to 3,000 seniors a year. So I, I got tired of it, sold it in 1979. Now I was gonna retire. Well, I'm only 53 years old, and it's not time to retire. Okay, I got married in 51. My oldest son, who is now 73 or four, was in the service. He was a Blue Beret, in, at least in the uh, Vietnam War. And he didn't have a good time, I'll tell you. Uh, 
he saw things that nobody should see, you know. And so he ended up uh, serving two years or so in, in Vietnam. And uh, that wasn't good. But uh, he's still going. He lives over in Clarkston, Washington. I have another son living in Lewiston, Idaho. And, and my daughter, I won't tell you how old she is. I'm very proud of my kids. Well, yeah, I uh, came here in 90, and I was gonna retire. Well, that, that never worked. I got bored, uh, so I went to work uh, part-time for Four Corner Hardware. Must have been early 90s. But anyway, I ended up working for them for 15 years, just because I enjoyed it. You know, it was fun working with the people, working with the public. I won some awards there. Uh, I sold a lot of Makita stuff. I really love Makita. I went, and I went to their school back in, in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I guess I sold more Makita slide saws than anybody in the country, because I really fell in love with those things. Vice President of Makita came out and gave me a beautiful leather jacket with Makita on it. Of course, the, the business quit. They had to, and uh, unfortunately, it was a very sorry day. Three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, about nine o'clock, we have a, a senior group and I've run through a lot of seniors, I'll tell you, that aren't with, with us anymore. And I really miss them, but uh, I just keep plugging away. And, and you know, I, like I say, I don't hit the ball very far anymore, but if I can reach a green in three, fine, you know, and have some good days and some bad days. But, you know, my drives now, instead of being 200 yard drives, are like 100 and, to 125, but they're straight. Yeah. They're down the middle, so that's the main thing. I'd love to go on a dream flight, especially in an open cockpit plane. I can take lots of pictures. I'd like to really thank Billion Auto Group to, for the chance to do this. Uh, uh, I've always wanted to get up here and take pictures, uh, aerial pictures especially. And uh, that'll be wonderful. I'm gonna really enjoy it.